what's up guys what's going on and in this tutorial we're gonna be creating this so first off i'll add a modifier called vertex weight proximity and just set the target object to the empty over here and now what we're gonna do is that basically we'll just go to edit mode and go to data and create a vertex group and in the modifier under vertex group you're just going to select that group and now we'll set the proximity to geometry and set the lowest to 1 and highest to 1.1 and set the fall off to smooth now once you've done that we'll just go over to vertex paint and now you have to make sure that the entire rock is red so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna just increase the size of the brush and you're just going to tap like this just make sure the entire rock is red and now what you now what we're gonna do is that you're gonna animate the empty so that it moves from this point to all the way to this point so that it moves across the rock i mean through the rock so uh let's animate it i'll just erase this Okay, so just select the empty and if you have a keyframe over here just delete it and make sure the timeline is set to one frame one and press i on your keyboard if you're using the older version of blender you might get the tab saying what you know what you know you want so we're just going to select the location or you can just press i l for location so i'll just go over to frame 180 and move this all the way over here like so i press i so now when you play you can see our empty is going through the through our rock and this is what we want and now for to verify if this uh, this is working just go to vertex paint and check whether it's turning blue wherever the empty touches it should turn into blue if not you just what you have to do is that just going to deselect the empty and select the empty again so that it works again so once you've done that what we're gonna do is that we'll just add a geometry node and we're gonna add only one node and that node is called uh capture attribute so shift a capture attribute and we're just going to connect this to this and under modifiers yeah, as you can see this is a geometry node modifier geometry node is a modifier so under a modifier under value we're just going to press this icon and set the value to group and under output attributes make sure your object is selected and you are in vertex paint and type weight and just saved and now we'll add our physics modifier and that's gonna be our plot we just have to copy what handle i'm just uh, inputting the values over here so in my case the quality steps will be 10 and the speed multiply will be 7.7 .7. here is velocity 0.5 and i'm just going to turn on the stiffness i mean i'll just set the stiffness to one and turn off the damping so i'll just press zero and set the bending to 0 0.05 and over here also now we'll just uh, enable the pressure and set the pressure to 5 and under shape we're just going to select our group and set the shrinking rate to minus 0 0.05 and the collision make sure you enable the self collision and and the field rays turn off gravity so that our cloth does not fall down and uh, now we just expand the cache and set the end frame to 180 and just bake it So once you're done baking, if you press play, you can see a rock is turning into cloth. 
I just go to object view so that you get a better look. So as you can see, our object is turning into clock. So, but we have a problem over here. That is, we want our cloth object, you know, wherever there's cloth, we want our textures to be changed. So what we're going to do is that we're just going to shader editor and this is the uh, you know nodes for this kind of material and what you're going to do is that you're just going to select all the nodes and press command G or control G if you're using windows so that it creates a um, group and now what you're going to do is that you're just going to right click on that duplicate it and press 2 over here so that it becomes unique and we'll add a mix shader just pop that over here and like so and we'll add a color ramp oh make sure the color ramp is set to factor and the group no one two zero one two first shader and the only node group to be set to second shader and we'll add a attribute node you can just uh, connect the factor or the color to the color ramp factor i'm just going to connect the factor and under name we're just going to type weight so now we have set set it up so open the group the uh, node group number one and we're just going to delete all of this nodes and add a glass node So now you can see wherever our stone or rock is turning into a cloth, it becomes a glass. So it you know, kind of creates the illusion that the rock is turning into a water in the space. So that's a cool kind of effect. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe Blender in. Thanks for watching guys.